I think it's a really interesting time to look for growth, and growth lies in disruption. You know, one of the things we've been spending a lot of time thinking about, Nancy, is a, is a change in the nature of change. Uh, for most of my career, change in business, a bit like evolutionary change, is a, was assumed to be Darwinian, step by step, slowly over long periods of time. In the world of business, that was kind of Japanese change. What we're seeing around the world today is a new type of change where industries are radically remaking themselves. For decades, you have albums and uh, music coming to you in a physical form. There's a period of time of pure chaos, and then we end up on the other side of that with Spotify and streaming. That sort of industry changing, groundbreaking uh, uh, industry evolution is, I think, uh, a huge investment opportunity. Where are we in that period? I mean, given that you've witnessed it, you've benefited from Spotify's rise, you've benefited from Uber as well. Where would you say in that cycle of enormous change that we are? You know, I think we're uh, mid that change. It's been going on for a while, but I don't, see it, I don't see it changing anytime soon. Instead, I see this idea of punctuated equilibrium, I'll come back to the term, uh, moving across industries and across sectors. What do I mean by punctuated equilibrium? I commented before on Darwinian change. It turns out in evolutionary biology, people have decided Darwin was a little wrong. Things don't happen slowly. Instead, change happens uh, very quickly where 95% of all phyla were created within 5% of the fossil record. So um, in general, these moments of quick industry change are spreading through the economy, often tech-enabled, but uh, much beyond that. For example, we're seeing massive change occurring right now in biotech which uh, uh, we're not probably talking about as much as we should be.